Hopkins County District Attorney's race is one of the most hotly contested races in this year's election. Three candidates are lining up to take the seat held by Robert Schuler Smith. WJTV 12's Gerald Harris spoke with a one-on-one -on -one with each candidate. He joins us now in studio first with civil rights attorney Jody Owens. Gerald. Byron Owens has taken on well-known criminal defense attorney Darla Palmer and assistant attorney general and attorney Stanley Alexander. He says he's the right person to replace district attorney Robert Schuler Smith. Jody Owens is the top lawyer at the Southern Poverty Law Center. He has overseen lawsuits to combat criminal justice, education, and state mental health woes. Under a Jody Owens district attorney administration, we will not let individuals terrorize our community with violent crimes and then be walking the streets the next week. However, he says he will be smart in determining who deserves to be behind bars and who needs help. We have to make sure there are alternatives to incarceration for people who deserve second chances and rehabilitation. Far too often, the current system has threw people in the system and really threw them away. Owens is a Democrat. He says his administration will run vastly different than the current DA's office. But under my DA administration, we're going to immediately focus on the Hines County Jail and the violent offenders. We're going to make sure individuals no longer are waiting for the day in court, and we're going to do everything in our power to make sure that the victims get justice. Owens, who is a lieutenant in the United States Navy Reserve, says the solution to solving Jackson's crime is holistic. He says it involves help from the community and simply being smart. We don't need to spend taxpayer money on individuals who stole bubble gum. We need to make sure the violent offenders are behind bars. We need to make sure we're putting programs in place that let individuals come back into society once they've shown us that they're able and willing to. Election day is on August 6th, and to win, Owens must gain 50% of the vote plus one to avoid a runoff. Because the current DA, Robert Schuler Smith, was removed or recused himself from over 150 felony cases, I asked Jody Owens, will he face the same problem? He unequivocally said no. Jade?